Hey everybody, welcome to Los Angeles Local Union Performers. I'm Kevin McCorkle and I'm curating this channel. And every Friday morning at 7 a.m. I have a new video. Today, we're really lucky to have three amazing people joining us. First off, we're gonna start off with Elliot Gould. He's gonna share some words of wisdom about the union and a poem. And then uh, Rob Schneider is gonna introduce Olga Wilhelmine about money that you can get. So don't go away. Lots of good stuff follows. Share and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. This is for Los Angeles local union performers. I'm one of us. Um, I'm a member in, of good standing with the union. I'm totally grateful and appreciative of what our union does and is, and that's what I'm doing here. It's the only entity that had ever appropriated anything uh, for my family and me in terms of the uh, pensions and the uh, medical plans. Uh, being an actor, uh, I myself, I'm a child at heart and uh, always uh, loving to play. So in other times, the actors would be called the players and I really appreciate the players. It moves me a lot. As far as the business that we are employed in, once again, that makes it necessity to have someone looking out for us and understanding and being there for us since so many of us are not business people. So as then when people talk to me, because it's a rather political, I'm not but I'm studying it. I, I need to understand that there are differences uh, for us and that the status of our union, which is so essential to us uh, in a world and even uh, a, a country, a portion of a country that is anti-union, that we have to protect our union uh, and really support our union. Therefore, we have to understand what it is that we're doing and where we are. So uh, making a, a living as an actor in this world is uh, rather daunting. Uh, I've worked for a very long time. Uh, I also believe in the union being that no one of us can be any more significant than the least of us. So when people talk to me about high profile, I mean, I, I mean it's not a joke, but it is a joke because uh, I mean, our rank and file uh, is what this is all about as one family. Therefore, we've really got to understand and be functional in relation to reality, which is not my strong suit, but uh, I understand it. So for any of us, I, I, I wanted to uh, contribute uh, some, something, a poem that I found, where baseball uh, is uh, the, the medium, is the metaphor, but it's about life. And it's called Run It Out. We'll see if I can remember it. It goes, when you once have hit the ball, run it out. Though your chance seem great or small, run it out. Many a fumble comes, you know, many a base man muffs a throw, but you're lost unless you go, run it out. Comes the best or comes the worst, run it out. You are gone, all right, but first, run it out. Would have done or might have been, Never have a chance to win, lively now, and dig right in, run it out. You may fail, of course, but still run it out. If you don't, you know you will, run it out. How alike is the beginning of the losing or the winning, just an eyelash to an inning, run it out. Courage now, and keep your heart, run it out. Nothing comes without a start, run it out. Other Shakespeare's might be printing, other Titians might be tinting if some constant coach kept hinting, run it out in solidarity. Hello, Screen Actors Guild members. Now there's this rumor going around that we're all in this together. We're not, all right? Some of us have not claimed our residual checks and there's millions of dollars uh, of uh, potentially your money somewhere. <laughs> and. Uh, so if you listen to these instructions, uh, they'll tell you how you can get it. And check it out. You may get, like, you know, some money in there. And, uh, you know, I think you can probably use it. Why not? You can do it. Get your effing money. All right, see you now.
Hey everyone, it's Olga, New Orleans local, National Board, and this video is a little quick how-to video on how best to search the unclaimed residuals database at sagafter.org. For those of you that don't know, the unclaimed residuals database, which has millions of dollars in it, is money that is residuals and royalties earned from artists and musicians and stunt performers and loan out companies and whatnot who they were not able to track down for various reasons and are looking for you. So this is a how-to video to see if maybe you are owed some money. I am being assisted by Chuck Slavin from New England Local, and he will demonstrate as I talk him through. Split screen, Chuck, take it away, Chuck. All right, here we go. So first thing is to go directly to the URL, which will be the easiest way to access the database. So as you see up there, it's www sagaftra.org forward slash unclaimed hyphen residuals. There you will see this page. If you scroll down, they will give you a little bit of advice and guidance and also what to do if you do find yourself and we will be posting that information also later. So the best way to search is to do a last name search. So let's start with the last name Garland. And here you will see everyone with the name Garland. And look, there's Judy Garland. I guess she's owed some money. That'll pull up everyone with the name Garland. Now, however, if you wanted to do a direct search, and in this case, we know that Judy's in there, so you could put the full name in there. So just put Judy in the top and search. And it'll also pop up that way. Now, the reason why I suggest to do a last name search is because there are a lot of misspellings a lot of misspellings of first names, of middle initials, of hyphens and that sort of thing. So I strongly suggest doing that. Try a very common name and this will pull up a lot of results. Try Jones. It'll take a bit longer to load because there's more names. And here we go, scrolling through. It is alphabetical under the last name Jones. Towards the bottom, you might see some hyphenated names. You might see some names that have, are not spelled Jones, they're, they're spelled a little bit differently, but will come up under this search. The goal is the smaller your search, the broader the net is cast, the more chances you will find yourself. So as you see down here, there's hyphens. There's a Jones V, a Jones Jr., a Jones III. This is why you might not show up with a direct name search. So it's important to cast the net as wide as possible. Now, if you have a, a loan out company or a production company, or you can't seem to find your name anyway, let's just try, go to the first name, if you're looking for something like that, and just type in the first letter of the first name. Type in T, a lot of T's, here we go. So, if you hold on a second, Chuck. As you see, it'll start with T, and it will list every single name that starts with the letter T, and then it will alphabetize them on the other side under the last name. So this is, this is another way to search, which I found to be very helpful. If you keep scrolling, and there are a lot of T's, so as you, we're starting with the A's, keep going. And you're only in the B's. That's why I'm saying there's a lot. So this way you're casting the net really, really wide in case there is a misspelling, in case they're using initials, in case they put your middle name as your last name hyphenated, in case, in case, in case. There's a lot of things as you will see if you start doing these searches yourself, you'll see. Towards the bottom of this list, you will begin to see production companies and charities and loan out companies and even trusts. If your company or production company or loan out or charity begins with the, that will also be under the first name search of T. There's, as you see a lot, the Salvation Army, perfect example right there. Keep scrolling. Go up and you'll see 
Yeah. There's the MacArthur Living Trust. There's a lot of trusts in here as well. So it's important to do the first name, first letter search if you're looking for something specific. The Flaming Lips, there they are. <laughs> So these little tricks I found to be the easiest way to navigate through all of this. And you might find yourself or you might find someone that you know. And if you know that person, then you could reach out to them and let them know. The best way to respond to this is to give SAG-AFTRA a call to verify that it is indeed you. Or if the person that you know happens to be on that list, you can give them this number so that they can call and verify. And the phone number is area code 323. 549-6535, again, 323-549-6535, at which point they will tell you the next steps in order to claim your money. So good luck and happy hunting.